Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I want to talk about the law of attraction. There's so much information out there, you know, on the internet, you hear it, you've heard it, we all apply it in different ways and different things. But what does it really, what does it really mean? And what am I going to share that's going to be anything different than what you've probably heard or seen? And some of you may be like, oh, what is the law of attraction? So what is it? And why am I finding it so important for me to share that here with everyone? I recently attended a workshop of Abraham and Esther Hicks and it was so transformative and it highlights this aspect of the law of attraction. What is it? Like attracts like. Arshna, I have not heard that. What do you mean like attracts like? We are vibrational beings. That's another law. We'll talk about that at another one. Our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, everything that we are and we have, we emit out into the universe. Like, okay? It's like a signal that we're sending out, which defines me in this moment. So this would be Archana in this time-space reality in right now. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling excited, or I'm sad, anxious, depressed, or I angry. These are all vibrations. These are all energy vibrations that I'm sending out as a signal into the universe. So as a vibrational being, you attract into your life who and what you are at that point in time. So what you see in your world all around you, look around you, your relationships, your work, your thought processes, where you are at. Everything that you are and where you are in this particular exact moment in time space is based on your past thoughts, past emotions, so your past vibration, a collected vibration that has created what we call as a manifested, a manifested reality right here in front of you. Okay. When you start noticing that, it could be, you know, whether we talk about past life, past timelines, in the past, way past, any of that. Once you understand that we are co-creators of this reality and you understand that it is my vibration, it is the signal, you know, the signal that I'm sending out. I draw experiences and people and places based on the signal that I'm giving out. So now, having said that, here's the next thing. What kind of a signal do you want to give? What is it that you wish to experience? Are you experiencing lack? Are you experiencing conflict? Are you experiencing tension? Are you experiencing unfulfilling relationships and you're saying you know Arshna this is not what I want to experience anymore so we have to learn to shift on how we speak our words into the universe we don't say I don't want to experience this I don't want to have any of this because the universe just starts taking snapshots oh okay so it doesn't hear the word knows don't I hate it's looking for that deep emotion. You're putting an emotion and attention and focus. Wherever your focus, intention and attention goes, that's what you create in your reality. So if we're constantly, constantly thinking of, let's say somebody hurt you or you think that somebody hurt you and you constantly think about that and you say, oh, you know, that person just makes me mad and they just make me angry and you're constantly reliving so what are we doing? We are giving power. We are putting emotions, right? We're putting a lot of emotions into that. So you know what does the universe give you back? The same thing. It doesn't judge. There's no judgment on what you're emitting out. Whatever you're emitting out is what you're going to attract because we are magnetic. We are magnetic. We are magnetizing situations and people to us the vibration that we're sending out so now you're saying okay i want to experience more of 
this end of the spectrum. The positive, the happier relationships, greater abundance, greater prosperity, greater wealth, and wonderful loving relationships. So now the key is to start putting your focus and attention on what you do wish to create, what do you wish to experience. So you put that energy and focus on what you're wishing to create and how that makes you feel. Imagine what it feels like to have that fulfilling relationship or to have that abundance that you were looking for. Leaving that state of lack and coming into that abundant state, what would that feel like? What would that look like? And you start feeling it and just imagining that. You're not going to let your current reality determine your future because the future is dependent upon your current thoughts. It's not based on your past thoughts. It's based on your current thoughts. So by the law of attraction, you attract your vibration, same vibration. So the key then becomes, the key then becomes, and the, and the takeaway from here is how we talk about, oh, you have to raise your vibration. What does that mean by raising your vibration? What does it really mean? It is, you're not going to let your current manifested reality, which may not be so pleasant, to put it mildly, to determine and to deter you from what you do wish to experience more of. Simple words, I'm not going to let something that's negative, something that I'm having conflict, I'm experiencing all of that in my life right now, to take away that feeling of what I wish to create. So what we're doing then is I'm letting go of the negativity and taking the step more towards the positivity. As you're taking steps towards the positivity, you start becoming a vibrational match. See, this is your, your potential. This is what you wish to experience. But this is where you are at. I'm not even going to put them high and low. I'm going to put them literally like this. This is where you're at right now. This is not what you wish to experience. There's conflict, there's anger, this, etc., etc. And this is the, the other home that you're wishing to experience. So even though this is what you're experiencing, you're experiencing conflict, you're experiencing disillusionment, you're experiencing that, you can still find that center within, let go of the negative belief system and start taking steps towards the positive. So the, 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 the more you're able to do that, the more you're able to maintain a higher vibe, irrespective of the fact that your quote unquote, your potential future is not here yet. I, I haven't gotten it. I haven't gotten that great uh, job that I was looking for. I haven't gotten that amazing relationship. I'm not experiencing wealth. Can I be happy? Can I be happy? To find the sense of happiness and gratitude even when, even when your dreams, your desires, your goals are not here yet, that's when you know you're raising your vibration. That's when you know you're getting more and more into vibrational alignment of your desires. That's when you become that match you've tuned into that frequency. You've tuned into the frequency of abundance. You've tuned into that frequency. And now when you're in this state and you're maintaining it, it's a dominant vibration. This is where you're vibrating at now. Doesn't matter what's coming. I'm going to take with the, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to go with the ebbs and the flows of the universe. Okay. So I've lost some money. Okay. So that didn't come in. I can still find my center. I can still find my peace. I can still find that things to be grateful for, for this life to be here in this moment as a co-creator and right then even when you don't expect it miracles occur expect the unexpected that's the law of attraction more on the law of attraction over time but this is just the start of it so I hope this kind of gives you a little preview a little understanding of what we talk about in raising our vibration.
and what is it that we are attracting into our world. So I'll talk to you soon. This is Arshana with Divine Soul Resonance. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week ahead and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.